I feel like these two have to play pretty often. They don't meet too often in bracket anymore, I don't think. Yeah. We, we've got enough uh, heavy hitters to usually take out one or both. Right, players. right. Mikiko and Falcon, though. Interesting. Yeah, well, did I hear somebody say he's not playing spaces anymore or something? He's not playing spaces today because he's extremely hungover. Oh, I see. <laughs> Yeah, at least that's what I heard. Uh, forward tilt back air. Zelda, Zelda's a funny little. Zelda's thing. combo game in this game is fucking crazy. It's kind of scary. It's like in melee. Is Pizza still playing? It's yeah. just tag, right? It's tag is Mook now, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, playing him is just—it's very scary. Yeah, but he's just like the—he's like the fundies god. Like, because I mean, you have to be if you play Zelda in that game. You know, like right. you can't rely on. She's really tricky shit or movement, or really tricky movement or anything like that. She's just three or four moves wrapped yeah. up in one character. And then in this game, she still has those, but now she has other tools too. Yeah, she has other moves that are really good. They both have me. Yeah. <laughs> he was too slow on his knee. Okay. Okay. Kind of an awkward percent to do up smash because it's it's more of a combo move than anything. Yeah. But at 108, he, he wasn't going to get anything. It's always, it's, I mean, it's a good out of shield option too. And, uh, you hit it on the tech chase, which I don't know what else Zelda gets off of like a, a grounded tech chase like that. I don't know. I think at like maybe 30 though, she could probably get away with up throw, up smash on a fast baller like Falcon. I don't know if it would be true. Um, the items. I think so. Basically, once she gets one up smash, if he's below like 50, it, it's she gets into a ton. Thing. Yeah, absolutely. Her tilts are like really good too. Like oh, yeah. up tilt is like combos into uh up tilt combos into kill. Yeah. yeah. Those are scary as well. Yeah, she doesn't have a, a terrible grab in this game anymore either. Like with I think both down and forward throw, if you DI it long, you're getting kicked. Yeah, yeah, she and at least on floatier. And it's good to just like you can chuck people off stage and like set up for like a pretty free edge guard against some character. Well, it's just kind of nuts on its own. Yeah. Like if you're a ledge on a uh, stage like PS2, that that comes online as a kill move. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. DK. Um, this matchup, I mean, DK's got his, his combo game, but uh, but does Mika know it is the question. I saw him approach with Nair, so he knows something. Yeah, he's, he's got an idea. <laughs> he's like doing on, the thing. Yeah, on these floatier characters, though, like, you can, you can't, at least, I don't know how to how to get the big, long, extended combos. It's a little more, uh, more complicated than just, like, cargo up throw. Yeah. <clears throat> Making it work though. Uh, this stage is um interesting. I can see why I, can, I see why he go here. Uh, very very high ceiling. I think about the same height as Greenland. Uh -huh. It's the exact same height and fairly narrow blast zone. So that definitely benefits Zelda as well. Yeah. No, I think it, I think it, this is good for both of them. Honestly, it's yeah. Picking stages is kind of difficult for me in this game because it's. What benefits one usually benefits the other. 
Oh. I guess you could look at that as a Man. as a uh, sign of like a balanced stage list, you know? Yeah. Like like polarizing. Like I think in a vacuum, polarizing counterfeit stages are probably stupid. Like like dumb, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's probably a good thing. You know, honestly. Yeah, I know a lot of people um, over the Illinois scene did not like Final Destination for people. No, but I think FD is like dumb. Yeah, a lot of people like, hate FD. Yeah. I think it's alright. I always, almost always ban it though, so yeah, yeah. it doesn't really bother me. That, that's one of the few stages that I've got no issues banning. But most of the time, like if I'm in a best of three set and I have to ban three stages, I'll ban FD and... Uh, Yes, too. And then it's like, well, now what? Uh -huh. I don't really want to ban any of these other ones. I don't, I don't mind any of them. Yeah, it's kind of funny how we've, we've never played on FD or on WarioWare. No. Like, we will just never play on those stages because we'll always ban them, you know? Okay, good air dodge. Looking like, looking like Smash Ultimate up here. Planning like four of those. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. To a big stage instead of a narrow one. Yeah. Like he got tired of dying in fucking hundred or whatever. He does like this stage. He takes me to it. Yeah, he picked point. it against me as well. I guess I, I don't know what the blast zones are like. Some builds have. Yeah, you're best of five. Yeah. If you ever play a best of five in winners, you sh you'll play one in losers as well. So like we played best of five. Yeah. So you'll play best of five in losers. Um. I know some builds, and it's something I've thought about putting online, include the dimensions of the black. Yeah, 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 I like that. It's nice to have. I like it, but I don't know, when I see it, I don't really... It's just like, it's a number. It's kind of hard to to uh, visualize sometimes. But it is nice to compare, at least. You know, yeah. you can at least say, well, this one's 100, this one's 50, clearly. Exactly. It's like, I, I, if I knew the numbers for Dreamland and PS2, then it would be a lot more meaningful uh -huh. for, like, the ceiling. Yeah. I, I don't know about the width. I don't care about that quite as much. But I imagine this feels like a stage with fairly big blast zones in both dimensions. I think it's the biggest stage in the game. Yeah. I believe. It's different. Dreamland is comparable, but this one's got walls all the way down, which makes it interesting. Yeah. In recovery. Fireball seems tough for DK to deal with. Definitely. He's not great vertically. He rushes in your face mm -hmm. and then does something. Yeah. But if you put a fireball in the way, he's going to have a little bit of trouble. Yeah. I think he just burned his nice punch there. He tried to oh, use it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw a frame of something before it got hit. Take both forward smash at the same time. Yeah. Zelda's is fast. Zelda's coming up fast. Yeah. I think that. The walls might be part of why Lickney likes this. He can just put a fireball off stage, and you can't sort of sneak under it. You have to ride the wall. Right, right. Head. Depending on the you know, situation. But it limits the recovery of his opponent. Whereas Zelda, she teleports. So yes. It's, it's See, like there, like he got an up throw and one up air. Yeah. I think did, like, if you're playing DK, you, you need more than that. I think the first up air he did a little bit early, so yeah. he came short. Yeah, that's I don't know. Um, that's what I was saying was like uh, he's definitely got these throw mix-ups that uh, um, it doesn't look like Mika really knows. But I mean, he's still doing all right, you know. But he's missing out on like the meaty like zero to a hundred combos, you know. Zelda is hard to combo in general, though. So yeah, that too. Her combo way is kind of weird sometimes. He's fairly light. Extremely floaty. It can it can be and also if you mistime something you might just blow up. So yeah. it can be a little stressful. Even like with Falcon, like Falcon being like the perfect character to combo Zelda, it's still kind of like weirdly annoying sometimes. Like some some stuff just doesn't quite link. 
Well, I like I like going for down through a mirror as Ganon against Zelda. Uh -huh. At zero, it that it's like thirty percent. Yeah. But if I mistime it, I'm eating a, a fair. He's just she she's tricky. This is big though. He's making it work. Yeah, you run it all the way even basically. One okay now too early for back row. I mean yeah. You you do that if you're confident in getting the edge guard. It can be a bit tricky with uh -huh. DK since it's Yeah, I feel like Zelda is probably not the greatest at edgeguarding DK just because she can't mm. challenge vertically, basically. Unfortunately. Yeah, she. I mean, her dare is alright, but it's so stubby. Yeah. 